broadband is an economic necessity. Virginia Senator Mark Warner wants the FCC to expand the program that helps low-income Americans access the internet. And if there's one thing we need to do, we ought to be expanding both broadband's reach and its affordability. Instead of expanding, the FCC is actually proposing cutbacks, but Warner says taking away from the Lifeline program will only lead to more difficulties, especially with school starting. Let's just continue it now. If there needs to be reforms, let's reform it after we have a vaccine. Um, but let's not cut off this access at this critical time. The FCC says it spent months asking for more funding and blames Democrats for failing to work with Republicans on a solution. An FCC spokesperson tells me, quote, Senate Democrats have failed to do their job and are refusing to find common ground with the administration and Senate Republicans unless they get their demand for special interest giveaways that have nothing to do with the pandemic. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine rejects that claim. He's suggesting they're trying to do a lot. Where's the evidence? Where is the evidence that Republicans have tried to do anything uh, to, uh, to assist in this effort? Kaine says it's time for the FCC to step up for Americans. To deal with their health issues, their economic concerns, interact with family, and we want the FCC to do more. Kane and Warner say they will push for more broadband legislation in the next COVID relief package. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.